Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this episode, I'm going to demonstrate to you how you can uh, resolve a Kubernetes error that goes like the connection to server localhost 8080 was refused. Let me show you what I mean by that. Um, I've got a SSH connection here uh, to a Raspberry Pi, uh, which is connected uh, in the same network as my K3S network here. So if I were to type say uh, kube ctl, get node it is not this particular raspberry pi is not really configured quite yet properly so if you're getting this mess error message the connection to the server localhost 80 is refused let me show you how this can be resolved okay um, this actually is an indication that your configuration file is not set up correctly uh, another way to validate whether your configuration is not set up correctly you type uh, cube ctl config view so basically you are trying to view the configuration file and if you get this kind of a blank here shortly yeah like null and all that it is a clear indication that your configuration file is not set up correctly so in order to get uh, the configuration file let me go to this directory first you have to go to this tilde directory i think they call it the home directory as well in here you have to create a directory called dot cube so we're going to go mkdir dot cube just like that so that command actually creates a new directory called dot cube then go inside that directory cd dot cube and now you're inside that directory in here use any of your favorite text editor could be vim vi nano anything you like so mine i have a nano install it's a text editor and you'll be creating a new file called config it's basically a text file hit enter so the content of this file can be found in your um, kubernetes cluster so my k3s is on this machine here right and the k3s uh, configuration file you can get it from the k3s server itself and it's normally located in this directory slash etc rancher k3s k3s dot yaml it's a bunch of uh, weird squiggly stuff and details in here so what you want to do would be to copy from the very first line of the yaml file go all the way down to the very last copy it and then you paste it on your client just like that and this client is a separate client it's not uh, uh, locally uh, in on the uh, k3s server so over here you're gonna have to put the k3s IP address you know to get the k3s IP address you go IP like that and you can see whichever your main master link is that will be your IP address mine's gonna be 192.168.50.55 uh, right so once that's done it, over here on my nano just save and exit is control X to save yes and save config so just have a quick look at it yeah it should be something like that with your new IP address of your K3S server with that being said now your kubectl will be able to run so you go kubectl get node and what it, this client does is that goes to the K3S server or any of your Kubernetes and extracts those things and now this time around if you type um, kubectl config view you can actually see a populated uh, configuration view or output file from this command just like that if this tutorial was helpful please like and subscribe other than that you have a good day bye now